Not too long ago, I created a post on my website um, about how we're trying to save some money, and um, I, I installed some programmable thermostats in our house, and here is another thing that we did. Um, we live in southern Missouri, and uh, the we, we bought this house in August of 2013. So we've just gone through basically our first winter here, and um, we kind of made some discoveries about how the heating in this house uh, are not, I, I, I want to say generously they were not the best, but quite frankly it was probably the worst setup that we could have. So um, we made a couple of changes to, to, to uh, try to save some money, and this was the first thing that we did. We had this fireplace, used to be a gas log. It was a propane tank sitting on the outside of the wall. And we replaced it with a Regency H2100 hearth stove. So, uh, as you can see, this unit actually sits on the hearth. It looks like it extends over the hearth. And this is an 18-inch hearth, by the way, so that gives you an idea of the the depth of this uh, box. This part that hangs over is actually not the, um, the stove, but it's the fan housing. Um, and the, uh, we picked this model because what we learned moving to southern Missouri is that sometimes they get ice storms that can be kind of intense and they have had periods of time where they've had power knocked out for sometimes several, a couple of weeks. This stove, um, because it sits out on the hearth, can radiate heat out through all these, you know, the, the top, the sides, and the front, even without electricity. If we don't have the blower running, we can still um, get heat. Right now I have this pot of water on here just to give some moisture to the air, but um, as you can see it's a nice big surface on top, so if I really get this stove uh, cranking, we can use the stove top for cooking. So in the event that we're out of power for a long time, we've got a source of heat, we've got a source that we can cook with indoors, um, and obviously it can provide some light also when the, uh, when the fire is going. So. This is a good choice for us, uh, and this thing can really generate some, some pretty good heat. Um, I'm going to turn the blower motor on, so hopefully you can still hear me. That's high. That's low. Um, it's got an automatic switch so that when it hits 180 degrees, it switches on automatically, or you can just manually turn it on when you want. Usually we leave it on auto. and. Um, Depending on how warm it is, we'll, we'll have it uh, either on high or low if it's not that warm. I mean, if it's not that cold. Um, this is the air intake. Right now I've got it all the way open so that I can show you how this can, it gets really hot, red hot here. If I turn it down, I close, you know, it's basically open, slide it in. That's where we leave it a lot of the times where I could slide it all the way in. That cuts the air intake, gives you a longer burn, and um, more efficient. Right now I don't have a whole lot of wood in there, but you can see that there's the uh, secondary burn chambers. I'm going to put this on low. Secondary burn chambers um, that route the gas, and if I had this thing really cranking with more wood in there, you'd see flame shooting out of those tubes uh, as it burns the, uh, the flammable gases that are inside of um, the, that are in the smoke as, as it's burning. So you can, I don't know if you can kind of hear, because I adjusted the, um, the fan and I closed the uh, air intake, it's starting to heat up so that that pot is going to be getting off, giving off water vapors pretty soon. Because um, we have small kids, I put this, uh, these are panels from an old dog crate that I had and some zip ties 
put it around the stove to keep the younger ones from um, touching it because it can get really really hot and this is um, cement board just in case I had a log fall out or sparks or something don't want to ruin the carpet so it's not it's not uh, fastened down in any in any way it's just laying there so spring and summer comes I'll move it and then we'll bring it back when we need it um, this thing does put out some pretty good heat I'm gonna put it on high I don't know if you can see this up here Uh, this fan is not on. It's going to be picking up speed slowly uh, as the, the heat, you know, the, the intake is there. The air kind of wraps around, comes out here, so you can feel it in the front. The heat actually comes up and moves this fan. So uh, during the day, I turn the, the ceiling fan on to try to dissipate the heat throughout the uh, the lower level and then at night I shut it off a lot of the heat goes up and there's actually a loft that goes to the next floor so it helps to heat the bedroom area and um, that's pretty much it so Regency H2100 I'm glad that I bought it it's worked out well for us it's not a total solution for this house because uh, it's not a huge stove. It's kind of medium size. Um, don't know the exact dimensions on it. You can look it up. But, um, you know, from the standpoint of trying to be more responsible with our money and with um, uh, family security, I think that it's a good choice for us. And so if you're considering it, check one out um, especially the fact that it's a hearth model I think is a little bit different than most of the inserts uh, you know even even without electricity of course if I didn't have electricity I would hook up a marine battery to a power inverter and blow the, the uh, plug the um, the fan in but even without that I can operate if, if I if the, my battery goes dead I'm still good to go for a while so anyways that's my re short review, um, so something to consider.